guys, Foxglove here, and a weekly update on Inktober. Still keeping up with everything. So, I'm gonna go ahead and explain everything in more detail as I go through the different drawings, but uh, days two through six were, shut up dog. <laughs> days two through six were Grumpy Frog. Um, that's the wrong direction. <laughs> Uh, Shy Mushroom, Content Worm, Rotten Pumpkin, and Sharp Teeth respectively. Also, this is Day 7 Sketches, don't worry about it. So I hope you guys enjoy the drawings! So Day 2 of Inktober was, uh, the prompt was Grumpy Frog, and I had a few ideas. Most of which were Louise the ghost, our little ghosty friend, finding the frog that's just upset that she exists. <laughs> um, eventually, I came across the idea of a witch that turned herself into a frog, and I thought that was pretty cool. And also, Louise holding a frog, which was pretty cool. Um, the drawing ended up being the witch who turned herself into a frog and was just grumpy about that. Well, Louise is in the background. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed drawing. I have been starting with pencil sketches for each of these um, drawings so far. Because it just makes it easier for me to get my lines where I want them to be. And, yeah. But, um... Yeah, I can go over those real quick. Uh, one of my ideas was like Louise being grumpy at a tree frog for just hanging out. They were very messy thumbnails, but yeah. And then we have a frog catching a bug with Louise watching him. Again, upset. Louise petting a frog who is croaking and upset. The unhappy witch that I ended up going with. Louise holding a frog and at least being scared of a frog who's upset. <laughs> well, the two I ended up making bigger thumbnails for, about the same size as the drawing, uh, final drawing, was the Grumpy Witch Frog and Louise Holding a Frog. Also, I've been doing little characters, so Louise has a different hat every time, so I've been drawing her with the hat. Th this is what the hat looks like, by the way. I won't. Yeah, enjoy the rest of the day too. It'll take a little bit.
The prompt for day three was a shy mushroom. Uh, a lot of these are very close to the same idea, but I thought it was pretty fun to do still. This is Luis wearing her mushroom hat. Also, I put a bunch of little mushrooms on her. It's a very messy sketch, but I thought it was cute. Um, so, first idea was just Luis checking out a mushroom and it was like hiding in fear. Doesn't really convey it that well. I kind of abandoned it pretty quickly. Uh, second idea was Luis being the shy mushroom ghost. Like blushing and holding flowers. It was cute. But, I don't know. Um, third, there's a slug cat holding a mushroom that's screaming. Not exactly shy, but... Yeah. <laughs> and then fourth was slug cat looking at a mushroom. A normal mushroom. And then there's two mushrooms running away from it. Uh, fourth is Luis watching, like, a uh, one mushroom, like, shyly handing a bouquet of mushrooms to the other mushroom. Mushroom... Deception? Mushroom cannibalism? Is it mushroom cannibalism? Is it weird? Probably, but it's cute. <laughs> and then third is, again, Shy Lily's Mushroom Ghost holding a bouquet of mushrooms with, like, leaves around her. I went back to the idea and tried to flesh it out a little bit. Uh, two I ended up looking at closely were the slug cat holding a mushroom and Louis watching two mushrooms dating, essentially. I ended up going with the um, Louis watching the two mushrooms hand each other mushroom flowers, because I thought it was just a really cute idea. I didn't think about the fact that they were kind of um, mushrooms. I did also end up basing their ideas, uh, ideas. I ended up basing their designs off of the um, mushrooms from Hollow Knight, the little shroomlings. Because it just seemed really cute. Uh, one dips down to hide the eyes, and the other, like, is on top to expose the eyes, like, emphasizing the shyness and not shyness. Uh, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the uh, drawing.
So day four, uh, the prompt was content worm. There were, I mostly stuck to the same theme for most of it, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So the first option I thought of right away was Louise wearing her little wormy scarf, uh, watching the worm eat a leaf. It was kind of cute. Um, and then I did an idea where Louise was just watching a little lot of worms hanging out from behind a tree. And then we had I had an idea of Luis um, in Top by Corner just watching the worm chill on a stick. He seemed pretty content there. Then um, I had Luis just kind of chilling, a content little Luis ghost with a whole bunch of worms surrounding her. And um, for all of these, I chose kind of a fall setting, like a late fall setting, because I thought it was just like comfort, content, like you're all bundled up, you're just vibing, you know, that kind of thing. Um, the fifth one, I chose to do a, I don't know where Elise is even in this one. <laughs> I think that's her right there. Um, so the fifth one, I had some worms chilling on the base of a tree. And then the sixth one has more of a wallpaper feel. Louise isn't even here. But um, it's just worms hanging out, on, laying on sticks, and just vibing. Um, I ended up like really liking the worm hanging out on stick idea. So the last two, I the two that I decided to actually try were the one where Louise was watching a worm, just one worm hanging out on a stick, and then a the whole bunch of worms hanging out on a stick. The whole bunch of worms hanging out on a stick thing looks a lot like a uh, wallpaper for like a phone background and I really like it however the one with Louise watching a worm on a stick just feels more like a finished piece like it could be a finished piece the standalone this is actually one of the ones that took the least amount of time too so there's that it's a really nice simple one um Here's a picture of Louise. I kind of drew too close to the edge of the paper, but that's okay. She's got her little wormy scarf. And, like, the only worm I can think of is earthworms. With their, like, little bandage-looking ring around their neck, and it's adorable. But, yeah, Louise has got that bandage-looking thing in two spots on the, her little scarf. And then she's got a worm on her head. Yippee! <laughs>
day five, the prompt was Rotten Pumpkin, and I had a really hard time with this. When I went to look up some reference photos, I um, was not comfy. <laughs> <sighs> Rotting pumpkins are gross and disgusting, and they just- I don't get good vibes from them, probably because it's rotting food. <laughs> but I, I tried my best. Um, I didn't really have good ideas on this one, though. Not the greatest one. So, the first one I came up with was Luis having a little pumpkin hat. But Luis coming out of a rotting pumpkin, kinda? That's like collapsed in on itself. And she's holding it, the candle that was in the pumpkin, and kinda confused why it's not holding her anymore. Um, the second one's a very similar idea. Um, where she's coming out of the pumpkin, but she's like, Hey, why is it so bright? And there's a whole bunch of flies around the pumpkin. And then the third one I made was... Uh, Luis, like, being by a front door as if she's trick-or-treating or something. And there's just a rotten pumpkin right there. It's all squished and dangly and... It's kind of detailed. I kind of like it. It's interesting. Um, the fourth one I have is Luis just straight up mourning a pumpkin. She accidentally took the top off and it just crumbled into a million pieces. I'm not sure how that works, but it might. <laughs> The fifth one I made was a, uh, yeah, the fifth thumbnail was Luis, again, taking lids off pumpkins, destroying them. One of the pumpkins had a flame in it, so it was, like, rotting while the fire was still going, because that totally makes sense. And then there's a bat in the background as well. And then the third one is just, again, Luis mourning some pumpkin loss. And it's a whole bunch of, like, just, like, tiny... No, not pineapple. It's not rotting pineapple. Um, a whole bunch of pumpkin pieces that are just... Bleh, gone. And she's holding a candle and being like, bruh. <laughs> There's some spiders as well. Um, I wanted this one to be one of a dark background. Because I felt like it would help it stand out from everything else. Like, the occasional dark background was really nice to draw and do. And I think it turned out really well. The two I decided to do bigger versions of were the one with Lise and a candle coming out of a pumpkin. This time I made her a lot more like either bleary or tired. You can see the attempt with the eyebrows or something. And I put a tree up there. I put some tree sticks and some millipedes on the pineapple. Not pineapple, pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> what world is that pineapple? And then I decided to do the Lise, um going trick-or-treating kind of vibe with the rotting pumpkin. And I put an extra baby pumpkin in that one. And the proper door behind it. And I thought that was pretty cool. I ended up going with the door-to-door uh, -door ghost drawing. Simply because it seemed to be able to work out pretty well. I wasn't- I just wasn't vibing with the holding candle kind of thing, and I really wanted to draw that lamp. That lamp felt good. <laughs> um, here's Louise in her little, her little pumpkin hat. I, uh, decided to- in her little portrait, I decided to put a little Halloween bucket, as if she was a trick-or-treater herself. I honestly think this might be, a, like, a kid ghost that just likes to play dress up for Halloween. She tries her best. She tries her best to be a normal per a kid. And, well, she's, she's kind of dead, so she can't, but she tries.
day six was, um, the prompt was sharp teeth. I was kind of stumped on this one at first, because I kept thinking vampire, and I didn't really want to draw vampires. Don't want to. Um, so I might figured, okay, what's got sharp teeth? Bats? Sharks? Foxes? Because of course that's my first thought. <laughs> I uh, did put Elise in a little vampire cloak, and she like drew little vampire things on her face. It, it's it's permanent marker. Trust. <laughs> I didn't use marker to do a pencil drawing. Sorry. But she's just all dressed up and trying to spook. <gasps> Boo! <laughs> little shenanigans she has going on. Um. The first thumbnail I did for this prompt was a uh, Sonic character. I did Rouge so that like back to back with a mirror, and the mirror isn't actually showing her because she's a vampire bat in this instance. But instead, it is showing Louise, who's just like, meh. It's got her little vampire things. <laughs> Looks like a brown from here. <laughs> Uh, the second thumbnail I did was Luis petting a fox who's baring its teeth at her. Very bad fox drawing, I know, I was just trying to get the idea on paper. <laughs> uh, the third thumbnail I did is a hot mess, but it is the full eater uh, chomping a man mantis straight in half, and a knight running over another full eater who's about to chomp him in ha them in half, sorry, them. Um, and Luis is peeking over a plant in the background. It's quite busy, but... <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Um, the fourth thumbnail I did was a shark chasing a fish underwater with its mouth open, and Luis is just kind of watching. And since she's underwater, her cloak's just kind of going up. <laughs> I kind of wanted her a little, um, I want to say drape, but to, uh, her ghostness to just go up to, but it, will, it would look funny. It kind of is, though. Um, the fifth thumbnail I made is just Luis surrounded by a bunch of bats. I think I could use that somewhere else, though. Um, it just didn't feel right. Cause I don't think I can make that detailed enough for that, for what they need. Um, and the sixth one is a revisit of that second fox uh, thumbnail. Better positioning, better everything, and Luis is just kind of recklessly going pat pat to the angry fox. <laughs> um. The two thumbnails I ended up doing a bigger version of were the knight running away from the full eater because Hollow Knight drawing, I haven't done one in a while, and the fox one with Luis. I kind of wanted to make it cloaky, but like, no, cloaky's not that mean. <laughs> not even for Halloween. Um, I ended up going with the Hollow Knight one because, again, Hollow Knight just haven't done one in a while. Want to do one so bad, at least once. And, um, the fox one, I think I ruined it in the big version. I didn't want it to feel too busy. I didn't want Luis to take too much room, but it just didn't feel, didn't feel obvious enough. And I couldn't really get the legs down, but that's not important. I think I did get the legs down in the end. But I just, I wasn't vibing with it. I wasn't meshing it with it very well. Overall, very fun drawing to do. I think this is one of the better ones of this week. Simply because I, I was just, I was just going. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you. 
thank you guys for watching um let me know what you think of the drawings and what i can do better with the videos hope everyone has a good day bye